Hi everyone, it's Angelina from Sparkling Diva with another reading for you. Uh, this time uh, it's uh, on again on love because most people are interested in that, right? Um, the question being, will we get back together or will we uh, stay together? If you're in a relationship, so then, excuse me, then you can also do this. I have seven, yeah, seven sets of cards. I'll make an effort to show them to you. Um, it's probably not going to work out. Like yesterday, the cable of my webcam is too short. I'm so sorry for the wobble. Uh, well, there you have it. I think that's as good as it gets. Not completely focused, but that's the seven sets I have ready for you. All right. I'm going to put the camera back down. Again, I'm so sorry about the wobbling. And uh, uh, the first we have bronzite. It's a wonderful, yeah, bronze colored with gold flashes uh, crystal. For the second is a sodalite. For the third we have the mangano calcite again. So I'm not certain if I can get that in view. I got these horrible LED lights on the webcam. Maybe up there. That's number three. Number four is a uh, Picasso, if memory serves, Picasso Jasper little dolphin. Numbers that's for number four, the dolphin. Numbers five have the cherry white tumble. It's gorgeously purple with all these. Yeah, it has a wonderful texture. Cherowite. It's nice to meditate with. Uh, num there's number uh, five, the Cherowite. Number six have the uh, Rhodochrosite, a lovely heart chakra stone. And for number uh, seven, the last ones, we have a Cornelian, Cornelian tumble. So make your choice. Um, I'm going to start. If you haven't made your choice just yet, then please pause the video. Also, I'd like to say uh, that please bear in mind that not every answer will be yes. So it's quite logical, right? Um, we all want it to be yes, but yeah, you could, yeah, it's 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 silly to say, but you can't always have what you want. It's just yeah, that's just life, you know. And there's nothing I can do, uh, and, uh, nor you. Uh, also, not the cards. It's just yeah. I, I do try to stick to the uh, self-empowering um, uh, side of things. To, so I also always look at things, what you can do or what should happen for it to work. Um, yeah, but not every set is going to say, yes, you're going you know, to get back together, you're going to stay together, you're going to get married, blah, blah, blah. So please be prepared for that. Right, and if you if you find that difficult, then please don't do these readings or this one at least. And because yeah, it's uh, you have to be ready to get a no, be willing to accept it, however unpleasant that may be. Uh, right, I'm going to start with the numbers one. I have tarot cards and romance angels cards. Um, I'm going to try and do this really quick. Uh, that's the idea, anyways. So I have four tarot cards. Um, I feel that there is a possibility uh, for you with this person that you're asking about to get back together because we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Ace of Wands. And this is a, um, inspiration, spark, passion, um, attraction and fertility and so there is a possibility it's not this is, doesn't say that it's going to work out it, there is a possibility and there is a lot of love um, but <clears throat> you also have to make sure that you get the mix right um, like what you put what she's putting into the cauldron she's high priestess this is the uh, um, yeah that is the high priestess yeah um, she knows exactly what she has to put in that mix to make this uh, strong and powerful and magical if it's a, a, a potion or whatever. She knows exactly when to put it in and how much to put in and what to put in. So you have to get the ingredients right. 
and that means that it's not um, just one person doing all the hard work that has to be equally shared in order for the relationship to work out and but it's also uh, letting go yeah, the, uh, of old stuff that's needed it's needed to that there's a, a, a cleansing needed still between the two of you these, these, these wands, these sticks that he or she is holding I think it's a woman, yeah so there is a cleansing needed and um, then there is a possibility there is a possibility because there is love and there is this potential uh, new beginning, that spark and so you have to also stay optimistic about your love life and positive thinking and faith will bring you romance regardless right but with this person then it increases the chances as well but also um, we have the deception card someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so you have to be completely honest open and honest no more pretending or whatever if that was going on in your relationship maybe uh, neither of you will completely open and honest and speaking your mind of or what you were feeling or how you wanted things to be and that has to go that's likely to do with what needs to be cleared this is old stuff old stuff it's more that's just more than just is uh, wearing these masks but this can be the result of that so there is a possibility uh, so this is a maybe if you chose this it's a maybe but there is work to be done you have to know what you put in and uh, yeah both sides will have to do some work and then it, there is a possibility so it is a maybe i hope that resonates um, leave me some feedback if you like and uh, thank you for watching and i'm moving on to numbers two the solar light people let's see what the cards have to say for you we have the page of chalices the knight of wands oh whoops trying to get them in, uh, in view we have the uh, four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles which is very interesting um and then there will be romance angel cards i will show them in uh, to you in a minute uh, the blank canvas so yes uh, there is uh, i think a lot of clearing has happened between you and this other person that you're asking about because the canvas is blank again you can make a fresh new start um this person the knight of wands is on her way to the goal the uh, village um the knight of wands is also about passion and being driven and uh, yeah going for it and and yeah so there there's also it's also positive but the four of pentacles um you have to be willing to be open to share together you have to share together and at the same time um this is also sharing right this is a family situation you see the children uh, playing and mommy and daddy are happy everyone's happy and having fun and it's a homely life but um, I do feel that it is important to have both that but also uh, time on your own you know so it's so important in this connection that you both keep doing what you like to do on your own not necessarily together at the same time it's important that you are open that you share there must be enough moments quality uh, time moments together as well so there has to be a balance between that a balance between doing your own thing and um, sharing enough and I feel that that might be why it went wrong or the problem in this in this connection like maybe one person wants to ride the horse and be off for a few days and have fun and the other person wants to go out in the woods and paint well then that should be possible you know then allow each other to do that to have these moments apart doing the things you really like to do it can even be that in this connection the, the two of you are really quite different in that sense but you can make it work if you balance this alone time with the quality time together well for some reason or other that seems to be really important so don't um, shut the other out you mustn't do that you know you can have your quality time on your own without shutting the other out 
Yeah, they must be open. As the door must be open. And then we have the two romance angels cards. Retreat. Again, you know, two people retreating together to have quality time together. But this is also a message that um, you might need to retreat on your own. To have quality time on your own. So again, that same message. And then we have reconciliation. So if you are not together anymore. Or if you're in a relationship asking this question. And you chose this. Then yes, it can work out for sure. But you have to uh, make sure that you have that balance. Between together and separate. And both be happy with that. Find a healthy balance in that. Then yes, it can work out for sure. So that will be a yes provided you do that right because there is work to be done that's logical because if you are not together anymore or not yet there is a reason for that so then there's some guidance for you some something that you can be mindful of i hope that resonated please let me know and then uh, thank you for watching and i'm moving on to number three the mangano calcite people a heart uh, chakra crystal um, and then we have the nine of Atami, so I think a lot of pain, a lot of stress, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, uh, nightmares maybe even, um, yeah, that's not really good, that's not really a place you want to be. Then we have the six of Atami's, leaving something behind that is not positive, that is something dark or something that was sad or bad or just not not nice, not pleasant. Moving to calmer waters. There's flowers over here. It's better over there on these new shores. Uh, you have to do that or you're already moving away from these more turbulent, darker waters to this calmer water with the beautiful flowers waiting here. There, were, there is healing that needs to be done. Um, moving on. <coughs> Sorry. Moving on. Healing. Um, not waiting around anymore. Uh, picking up your, your own life. I do feel most of people who chose this are not together anymore in a relationship, are asking about an ex, about someone uh, they, uh, they've broken up with. And I feel it's, it's possibly recently as well. Um, but you need healing. And you also need to, uh, uh, if, if it has been recent, try to begin to move on with life. Start picking up your life again, doing things, because that will help you heal as well. And, um, yeah, this too, the, the, the Page of Wands is also, especially in this deck, um, he's doing his own thing, on his own, away from the world. There's a house in the, in the, in the distance there, he's with his donkey. I feel that it is his friend. Maybe you have a dog or a cat that you really love and that now you feel really connected to because you're alone. You, because of the yeah you're not with your partner anymore and this kid this boy he's figuring out how to manifest how to do things how to create things how he wants things and he's doing that himself because he's holding that wand and he you know he's just figuring things out there's no pressure he's just uh, having a bit of fun with it enjoying it and that's basically what you have to start doing and also um then from the Romance Angels we have Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this is about being a bit more open, a bit more playful. Um, which is of course difficult if you indeed have recently, only recently broken up. Uh, but be a bit open. Uh, doesn't mean to other uh, new men or a woman if you're watching and you know y your partners are female. Uh, but flirting is also about just having a friendly contact with other people. So there could be uh, same sex, sex could be with friends. Just a smile, eye contact, a giggle, a laugh. It doesn't have to be anything to do with a potential new partner or new relationship at all. Flirting is basically having a bit of fun. Being light-hearted, being a bit playful, having, having a bit of fun. And it can even be with an old lady or an, an elderly man and just having a nice moment in the supermarket or whatever, you know. Just that. Just so you, your energy um, raises again. Rises, sorry. Duh, rises again in, in vibration a little bit. That is very important. Well, I guess you already figured out the answer. If, if you chose this 
uh, then no, I don't see you get back together with this person. I'm really sorry, but yeah. It is what it is, I can't make anything of it. And maybe do some, uh, maybe maybe this uh, and, uh, heart chakra crystal will help you ease your pain. <clears throat> Mangano calcite is wonderful for that. It's a very gentle stone. It has a very subtle energy, but it, it is really strong. It is really strong. So yeah, I, w I do wish you a big, you know, a lot of love and light, and and if this resonates, a, a big hug as well. And thank you for watching. Um, then I'm moving on to the numbers uh, four, the people uh, who chose the dolphin. Then we have, um, yeah, there's more cards that came out uh, for this set. We have five tarot cards. We have the devil, which is nature in this deck. The witch, which is normally uh, the magician. Two of pentacles, uh, death, transformation. No need to be worried. And the knight of Atami is a knight of swords. Um, I do feel that um, either one of you is the devil and the other person is a witch, is a magician. And... Um, so one person is, is, both are really strong, right? The devil is really strong, but the magician is also really very strong in a different way. This, the devil is in more in, in the, in a, um, more, uh, yeah, latching onto a codependent kind of way because the devil is about bondage and fears and codependency and, and you know, yeah, uh, still having to deal with your inner demons and, and uh, limiting beliefs and yeah that 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 dynamic and while the uh, magician on the other hand side he's already been there he's got that sussed he knows his worth he knows uh, what he wants he's got he's ma he's got mastery over all aspects in life and of himself and so he can manifest in this tarot deck it's a she uh, so the, the, the witch can manifest, it's an outwards going energy. Uh, at the same time, I always find that peculiar with this deck, there is this circle. That's what witches do, they cast a circle and in, within that circle they do their ritual work. This is to keep uh, negative energies out and so they are safe whilst they do their energy work. And uh, I also see that as sort of withdrawing within your own space. So you can do your own thing. Uh, funny enough, normally speaking, you would also cast a circle to keep the devil out. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's kind of odd. I, I sensed a really odd dynamic and disconnection. And there's a, a, an imbalance as well. And I don't think there is an imbalance but, uh, within either partner. Although there could be, especially in the devil person. But especially between the two partners. And that could be because this person is uh, yeah, sort of needy. He's not free. That person is not free. And I'm inclined to say that that is the other person. But it, it doesn't have to be. It could also be you. Somehow I'm inclined to say that this is the other person. Who are still stuck in something from the past, something old, and they're not really dealing with it. And that's causing uh, problems in the connection, because you are, this person is empowered and is able to manifest, while that one is still stuck in the dark and uh, being afraid. And then there is a transformation that is that is necessary. This is the death card. This is about transformation. Also the butterfly is also about transformation. Uh, it's a huge transformation because this is a major arcana card. So this is big. This is really quite big. And uh, as, yeah, if you want to make it together, you both will have to go through a sort of transformation to get that balance between the two of you but it will be mostly for this devil person i think they will have to do most of the work although i do feel you have to support them 
I really feel that for most of you, you are the witch, you are the magician, the other is the devil. Uh, I do feel that this person, so you in most cases, have to be more supportive of this of, of the other person. You are too much in your circle, in your own space. And that's also creating uh, this imbalance or not doing anything to help uh, sort it out. So you also have to be more open towards that person and come out of your own circle and uh, support them. And then you go through that transformation. And this is a very fast, this is just peculiar because this is a very fast energy. This is the Knight of Swords. Um, it's very driven and uh, going for it and and um, wanting it now and, and kind of like an adventure. Maybe, uh, maybe that's what he is like. Only just so he doesn't have to deal with the, whatever it is he has to deal with. But don't, also for you, don't expect these transformations to go too fast. He might not be up for it. The devil might not be up for it. He might, actually, if you want to address that, he might want to just race off on his horse. Like, sort that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be happy with where I am. And so it might be quite difficult to work it out. But, but since we have this card from the Romance Angels... Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I do feel you can work this out. I do feel you can work this out. So I would say, um, well, uh, the chances are very high that you indeed will get back together or will stay together. Because I do think you both want to. I do think you both want to. But there is work to be done. It's not going to be uh, all that easy. Because you do have this transformation. The death transformation. So yeah. Um, I wonder if this resonates this story. So please let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm really. Uh, I'd really love to know that. I do think. Uh, if you chose this. It's the dolphin people. That you can make this work. If you both put in. Uh, the effort if you both want that and I do think you do I do think you do both want that maybe if you are this witch maybe you will have to lighten up a little bit maybe you have to be a bit more playful I don't know why I'm getting yeah I do know I, I'm just thinking you were the dolphin people dolphins are playful very playful they like to have fun and swim and jump out of the water and you know <laughs> I'm playing with their dolphin now that is kind of silly but Maybe you are just too serious, too focused on work and doing your own thing and all that. And then maybe then he feels, uh, could also be uh, the other way around, right? That this is a she and that is a he. So apply that to your own situation so it, it fits. Um, but that this person feels left out because of that. Maybe that's why they, they are afraid. That, I feel, is true for a lot of you. Yeah, one is working too hard. Focus too much on their own thing. Maybe kind of like a workaholic. And never makes time to play and have fun. And that's why he, this, this devil person, the other one feels left out and afraid and maybe rejected or abandoned and having all these negative thoughts because there's these, these nasty spirits here. These little devil devils <laughs> so yeah but there is um, yeah absolutely a possibility that this is going to work out uh, moving on to the numbers uh, what was it six seven seven six five five draw I lose count the charoite uh, people oops let's see uh, we have the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. The Empress is wonderfully pregnant. I need a sip of coffee. Hang on. Mm. Yeah, I feel most people who chose this are not together at the moment. Um, 
but there is still a lot of potential. There is still a lot of potential. Uh, you created that new life together. And there, there is this, this abundance here. She's standing in that field with all the corn. The corn is ripe, is uh, as good as ready to be harvested. Uh, she's happy, she's content, she's going to be a mum. Uh, but it's not going to be fast. This, this is, well, maybe she's seven months along or something. I don't know. It's just going to take a bit more time. You have to just have faith and trust that it's going to come. Like, she has to have faith that this baby is not going to stay in her belly forever, in her womb. As she knows that at some point the baby is going to be born. So you have to have faith. Know that things will come when the time is right. This is also not fast energy. The Knight of Pentacles is also taking. She is also taking her sweet time to go from A to B. Um, this is about planning, thinking things through, uh, not a risk taker, and um, yeah. But he is moving, or she. It's a female uh, knight in this deck. All knights are female, I believe. No, not all, but this one is. And but there is movement. So. There is progress. And then we have the uh, the king of pentacles. Well, a lot of potential. A lot of uh, abundance and very grounded energy. And uh, yeah, he's very wise as well. And because he's the master of the entire pentacle suit. So he has gone through every aspect that has to do with the solar plexus, with the ego, with the with money and wisdom and you know, everything that has to do with the pentacles and and he's he's mastered all of that. And uh, we have the wheel of fortune, so there is change, positive change, uh, which will also be slow because this is slow and he's also set still, but there is it, it the wheel does turn. The wheel never stands still. So uh, I would say a big yes for this uh, relationship, or this connection, sorry, uh, that you will get back together. There will at least, at the very least, be contact and uh, very positive, good feelings between the two of you. But I, I would say you will come back together. I, I, I wonder if even a number of you are expecting... Maybe some of you who chose this are in a relationship and things are not working out so well at the moment and you're wondering how it will go and, <clears throat> and maybe you are carrying his child. I, was, I never had that feeling with the Empress at all, ever, not ever. Not in the 10, 12 years, 15 years that I'm doing tarot readings. <laughs> so if you are uh, expecting, I would like to hear that. <laughs> Uh, this is a past life relationship, you've known each other before, it can also be uh, um, a message that you have to let go of specific patterns, um, patterns in how you deal uh, with relationships, partners, love and how you go about that, uh, can be family patterns as well I believe, no that's another card, mostly just your own patterns and the other person's as possibly. Um, and then we have separation, which is peculiar. And but I don't feel um, that for uh, okay. If you if you're not together in a relationship anymore, then of course there is separation. But I feel that for this group, there are a number of people in this group who are not really split up, not sort of maybe, but not really. You know, kind of more like in a relationship that is not really. 100% working out as you had expected or wanted or maybe they are gone uh, for a longer period of time because of work or something it doesn't feel as um, permanent it doesn't feel permanent this this separation so that's why I drew a third uh, card and then we had worth waiting for so uh, that tells me that indeed the separation isn't Permanent. It's a it's a temporary thing for whatever reason. So uh, in in yeah, I do think you are going to get back together if you haven't aren't if you broke up. I do think you will get back together, but it might take time, right? Because this is uh, not fast energy. This is also not fast. 
but I think everything uh, it will take time when the time is right when the timing is right then the baby will be born and then you will come back together yeah right I hope this entire story resonated with you thank you for watching please leave me some comments and uh, well, I hope to see you again soon with another reading and then we move on to the numbers six let me see we have the Ace of uh, Swords, Atames, the Standing Stone, which is uh, Justice, um, Eight of Wands, and we have the Seven of Swords. Hang on, the, the Ace of Swords, in, uh, get that one in view. Um, cutting away um, things that don't serve you anymore. It's also about getting clarity. Uh, but it's also victory. The seeds from the dandelion that are blowing away in the wind, they will at some point land somewhere else and there will be a new flower that will grow, a new dandelion. So it, there is fertility. Uh, having clear intentions is important. So also in that sense being um, a bit impartial neutral unbiased balanced as well because we have the scales like in the regular um justice i always mix that up with judgment <laughs> justice card that is very important and balance again this is uh in the in regular tarot decks the eight of wands is about speed and uh, manifesting speed 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 but this is, is this is not speed at all she's sat here on her own in a in this place in the woods and she's just taking her time to make these ones and to cut flowers and to make sure they're all nicely neatly lined up and equal right there's four here that's four there balance eight is also about balance it's the infinity symbol right the number eight uh, continuity balance and then we have this card um, he well, um yeah it's like she stays at home waiting for him to come home from work he's done he's working really hard to provide for her and for himself um yeah it's it i do get a bit of a, a withdrawn uh, vibe with this as if you, you when you were together you never really uh socialized a lot it was just you and the other person and the funny thing is that we also have the codependency card and um, we have finances and career and uh, yeah it's, this is for me this is a tricky one because I feel different things coming up I feel for a number this is not a good connection at all this is almost like a narcissistic man and you should really be glad that you're not with him anymore even though it will hurt if you lose a partner it will all it always hurts it almost almost always hurts right uh, but you need to have clarity and purity of intentions and um, see the truth that is clarity right see the truth cut away what doesn't serve you anymore be a bit more impartial and neutral when you look at this this connection see what's actually really there and with balance it was it balanced is it balanced does it serve you a good connection a healthy relationship does should serve you should nurture you and and stimulate you inspire you and um in a way i feel that you were um in this connection um, isolated from the rest of the world I get that from this card but also from this card as if you were uh, in, in uh, just um, imprisoned almost in this circle of stones and not able to go out and get out and that's what narcissists do they cut you off from your friends and your family and everything that's dear to you so your entire world starts to evolve around them and that's what they need 
and that makes you codependent. Funny thing is, that only works if you were already codependent or had low self-esteem to begin with. Narcissists will never go for someone who is strong. It doesn't work, because they wouldn't put up with it. So I feel you need that quiet peace and time to find your inner balance and to, to have a really clear look, an honest look at what this connection offered you and what it did to you. Cut away what doesn't serve you. Find your inner balance, inner balance again. And see, it. ask yourself, was there true equality in this connection? You know, was it really four ones for me, four ones for him? Was it equal? Or was he eating up all the attention and time and love and whatever? And um, that would make you codependent. And uh, yeah, I feel that with this, it's not just the, the finances and career in this case, in this scenario. But also um, because it's all about him. Him, 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 him. His work, his career, his, his wishes, his needs, his whatever. Yeah, and I feel for many of you that is that is or was the case with this connection. And if that is true, then, yeah, I'm sorry to say that. It could still be painful, but then you have to really be glad that you're out of it. You're out of it. And for other people, if this does not resonate for you, which of course is possible, not everyone is in the, in the situation. I've felt more messages come up for this set. Um, then there is still a need for balance. There is still a need for balance. That you, uh, I think you need more space, regardless. So then, this person, if if the other person is not a narcissist, then I think that maybe that there is there is a need for balance, regardless. Maybe you have come to depend on them too much for um, uh, financial support or any kind of support. Emotional, maybe even, and, and uh, security, safety, and then a message could be that you have to change that and learn to stand on your own two feet. I feel this own space, having your own space is important, but I don't think that uh, I'm not, I, get, I don't get this second message completely clear. I'm sorry about that. Which I, I suppose might mean that for the, the largest group of people who chose this are in actual fact with a narcissist or someone who is very close to being a narcissist. I can't get the second message entirely clear, I'm really sorry. But I feel that it, this is not the right connection for you. So if you broke up, I don't think you sh They might want to try and get back to you. But then you have to be very, very careful if that is not just because you are an option to them. Because don't let yourself be used. Because someone is suffering from codependency and I do feel it's you. So in, in general, I don't think you're going to get back together. In, in general, I don't think so. Um, the last one, the number s seven. The Cornelian people, let's see, will you get back together? Uh, four tarot cards, we have the Three of Wands, <clears throat> the Wish card, the Nine of Cups. I want to get that in view, this one. There we are, sort of. Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Are you going to come back together? You both want to. You both have st still have feelings for one another. You are looking at each other. There's this woman here on that ship. Uh, and there's he standing there. They're both looking at, at one another. They actually want to be together. There's still feelings for one another. But neither is taking the first step. <coughs> Sorry. So there is an... an, an an enormous strong connection between the two of you still. A very strong connection. And uh, an openness in a way too. And maybe uh, maybe you didn't even want that. But there is this open space. Even though there are these crates. So maybe you are trying to cut it off. Trying to block it. 
because these could be seen as blocks, these crates. But it's, it's not really working out, right? Because you can still see her completely. It's a mermaid. And you can, she can still see him. So it's not working out too well to cut it off, to block it out of your... Uh, so you don't see each other anymore. And don't see... Uh, not literally, figuratively, in most cases. To create that distance. It's not working out. There is very, very strong connection here. And, and in a deep down, both really still want something together, but still would like to be together, even if it was just a conversation. But in actual fact, this is about future plans, making future plans. So I think that you were quite committed to one another, if you have been together, and then it fell apart, and yeah, the future plans fell apart too. Yeah. There was this, this there was a lot between the two of you. There was an awful lot. Uh, there's because there's these nine chalices, different, for, uh, all kinds of chalices, golden, silver. Uh, you know, it was a very rich relationship in that sense. Not just uh, 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 it, it, it touched upon many aspects, many different things. It was very uh, multifaceted. In that, uh, yeah, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, and then we have this, uh, what the future brings, she's actually holding that crystal ball, right? Um, but it's, it, it doesn't really look like a crystal ball much, you can't see anything in it, it's opaque, it's not clear. So I suppose the outcome of this is not entirely clear, um, but she looks happy, she seems to be happy with that for now. If you were are to come together again... There has to be conversations. There has to be openness. Because there wasn't. There was a division between the two of you. This is his field. The beer, that guy, that's his field. There's nothing growing there anymore. And this is your field. And uh, this other man's field. And he can almost harvest. And they're, they're basically sort of... Uh, according to the interpretation of the book, they are discussing which field they are going to work first to get the harvest in, but he doesn't even have a harvest. There's nothing here. Grass, maybe, but that's about it. And uh, I feel that in, in a healthy relationship, sure, you have your own things to do, your own things you, you know, going out with your own friends, they go out with their own friends, maybe you have separate hobbies, and that's fine. That's a, a completely totally utterly fine but in general there shouldn't be a division there shouldn't be a huge wall in between you no way not really and there has to be this this really in-depth conversation about what went down between the two of you and um, otherwise you know you can't come together there has to be complete openness you have to be completely honest with one another if one got hurt in this situation, actually both got hurt, but one uh, knows more, one wasn't open, one wasn't straightforward in this situation. And that's the one who has to spill the beans now, and be, learn to be honest and open, and reach out. And then, because then, this the other person will not feel left out anymore. In this situation, in this relationship, in this connection, one person felt left out completely left out while the other was having all the fun and uh, probably didn't even care that much that she was sat there on her own in rags in the cold and he was having fun socializing around the, f around the fire nice and warm and she was just sat there so if this is is, is, is actually uh, for this to work and uh, for you to come together again there will, there is work to be done, and especially the other person will need to open up. There's gone, there has to be openness, equality, real serious equality in this relationship, so that person doesn't feel left out anymore. Because that's not not right. That's not right. If you love someone, you don't leave them out in the cold, do you? So in a way, you should even ask yourself, uh, do you even want them back if they treat you like this? You shouldn't put up with that, and then you have it. You have to love yourself first. <clears throat> if you love yourself, you wouldn't put up with that. Maybe then all of a sudden it will work out. 
because then you will have healthy boundaries right and then you will not sit there anymore waiting for them to come back to you then you would be off to you to your own group you know maybe over here who'd also have a fire going you'd have fun as well and yeah then we have the very soon card clearly decide what you want so that it can uh, hang about because for me the angle is wrong so uh, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so you have to decide what it is you want have a good look at how this works between the two of you this disconnection and if you uh, yeah if you would actually still want this or not and because you can decide that you still want that and go for it but then you you do take the risk that you will get back in this situation because if they are the other party is not willing to do the talking if they are not willing to do that you will not get the love you want if the if you then got come back together then you'd get that again is that really what you want is that really what you want so you can decide to do that or and take that risk which is okay i'm not saying you shouldn't do that it's okay it's a choice you have to make you have to clearly decide what you want uh, but you can also decide that you don't want that anymore and that you're moving on so that's up to you i'm not telling you anything here it's just what the card says clearly decide what you want so it's either deciding that you move on and forget about it or you decide that you still want them back and then take that risk and uh, i drew a third card with that you are soulmates Yes, this is your soulmate. Doesn't mean to say that it's going to work out, that you're meant to be together uh, this life in a relationship. Could be, could not be, I don't know. So in this case, I'd say um, it is possible, but it, 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 uh, it depends on you. You have to learn to love yourself, deal with that, and also depends on the other person. Of course, it always depends. It's two people, right? It's not just one person uh, calling the shots. If they're not willing to do that, it's you will get back to that. You will get that. So there is a possibility. So this is um, a possibly yes. A possibly yes situation. Could go either way, depending on. I'm inclined to go for yes for most. So I hope that resonated. Please leave me some feedback and then I hope to see you again really soon with another reading. Have a wonderful day and lots of love to you all. Bye.